Hey guys, this is just a short video, but you know the information usually contains something really valuable. So please just watch this, and this is gonna blow your mind if you don't know the information. And if you don't know the information, then that's great. But, uh, it, just know that yoga in Hindu means just fusion with God and it's that way because that's how the goddess speaks to us and also not even just the goddess but the universe and uh, the sun is also called the Heavenly Father um, you know by some because obviously Mother Earth is a uh, Everyone says Mother Earth, but uh, Father Sky is the sun in the whole universe. And then uh, even above the Earth Goddess, which is Gaia and stuff, there's a whole other level. But we're feeling from our bodies, and the feeling you get from your bodies is always a cue from God because we can always be stronger. So those are just words of labeling certain aspects that are in control of us. And our higher self is a... Uh, called the alpha soul and the soul that came in to incarnate here is called the beta soul and the alpha soul connects to the omega which is the universe so our higher self connects to the universe for us but um, obviously there's different levels and we have uh, an accommodation that is almost beyond the alpha sometimes when they don't want to take on exactly what we're doing on earth so we get connection to uh, source or the ever lasting eternal freshness called the ultimate goddess by me or just God and then there's the earth goddess which uh, skips the step of the the universe or father sky and then um, we feel vibrations from the universe anyway just to explain words for words yoga means connecting to God for Hindus and that that's that's kinda the thing is we're getting cues from our body up but what I wanted to say is um, it's called reciprocal stretch it's gonna change your life like if, if you're if you're stretching one part of your body like just say I just put a little bit a little bit of weight here on my foot you know it's not it's not me putting all the weight on, on this foot. There's only 20% weight on that foot. But when we're stretching, I'm actually flexing the top half of my leg. So it doesn't work when it's turned like this. But see, now I'm just I'm flexing the top half of my leg and I'm stretching the lower half. See how easy that stretch is? Fully, fully straight leg, flexing the top half and stuff like that so <clears throat> even when you're doing regular stretches like you're going down then I'm flexing even the top half of my foot and the top half of my legs but I get in a stretch on the back half and I'll show you after but see we'll always just as a side note just bow down like this back arched see you gotta hatch, arch your back this is a secret technique of stretching. Um, well, you always arch your back. You don't just bend down like, like you don't just hunch down when you touch your toes. If well, maybe you do. I hope you don't. You go like a diver down, and the top half of my leg is stretched, so I can just get down to my toes really easy. You know, but just to show you really quick. What I'm talking about makes it so much easier is to stretch the back half this and this I'm flexing all of these on the front half and uh, that just makes it this easy to touch your toes see it's insane so that's one part of it and that works with any muscles always a reciprocal you're stretching this and you're flexing that 
and there's always a reciprocal. Each one is flexed, and the other one's, um, you could say, relaxed, or you're stretching the other one. So just try to work on this with your legs, and this is going to change your life when understood, I guarantee it, because I never even used to touch my toes, honestly, comfortably, but now it's, once my, my, um, my knowledge grew, um, a person who taught me it was, it was three black belts, and he told me that now I can just do it really easy. The other secret is you always have to let your body just talk. Um, I sound weird at first, let your body talk, but it's the key. I like you feel an uncomfortability, and you go, "Hiya!" And you got to make these noises. And it's like a kind of a breath thing too. Exhale. Inhale, inhale. Hup, 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 hup. Hi -ya. Ki -ya. Ice. Hi. 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 Okay. So that's number two. And number two has a side note that when your body breathes naturally, <gasps> and you make that thing. So I breathe in slow like. My body just breathes naturally slow. I don't know why. In any random moment, in any particular specific circumstance, within the variety of everything, my body breathes slow. So that means giant step. Ooh. Same exact length of time for what the breath of the body commanded without your involvement because your body is God. Your body knows how long to take the breath. It relates the most. So, you, so your, your body pauses. You take three breaths, then three quick punches, okay? And we're learning this to just help protect the women and the children on earth and to be a good fighter for the divine masculine, which is the universe. And above that, we're protecting all of life, which is the eternal goddess, all right? So if I breathe like this, it's the same amount of time. I move like this. I was supposed to grab that chair, okay? And that was the fate. So I explained the first two. And the third point of all of this, which is another important thing, is uh, the chipmunk tribe. The chipmunk tribe is uh, just if you watch a chipmunk move, it stops for a second. And it looks around. And it takes a few steps. And then it stops, and then it takes a few steps, all right? And then it goes like this. It's connected to the energies that way. So that's the chipmunk tribe. They pause, and then they go. They stop, look around, and then they go. They stop, they check their, their stuff, and then they go, okay? So that's the third level, the chipmunk tribe. And uh, in the teachings of um, Jesus Christ, the Gospel of Thomas, one of the disciples says, hey, how do you, you prove the sign that, uh, that the Father is within you? And Jesus said, it is motionless, and then it is motion. And then it is motionless, and then it's motion. That's the chipmunk tribe, because the chipmunks stop, and then they look around, and then they go. So if you practice this, you're connecting to the kundalini of the earth the power energy of this planetary sphere that you're on. And this is important information because this is the most raw, primal stuff. It's not even like finding fire or building water or any of those type of things, building shelter. This is just your operating system. This is the most raw thing. So it's even transcendent to that because it's going to lead you to combine certain elements within the atmosphere of the world that you're in to do certain things that were called for, you know? So anything that's an operating system is like more important because when you operate with your hand that you can do anything that you didn't know you could do before. So we're inside of a big world and there's a lot of different possibilities to do in life. So this operating system is also actually just the most primal. So that's going to lead to action that hopefully we'll find a moment's destiny 
and then if you actually care enough to understand the other things about yourself which uh, is a little bit more sophisticated it's called the unique legend of yourself then you find your own destiny and that connects to the alpha soul which before you jumped in and dove into this incarnation it had a destiny of what you're supposed to do here so that's covered by the alpha soul so that's above the earth um, connection but when you're doing it the smart ones who know their destiny are doing it with this operating system of you know the reciprocal stretches I'm stretching the lower half of my leg right now and then they do the key eyes which is Hi yeah hi and they hear breath and then they do the motion see and that's how we do it and then the third level is a chim up tribe we just pause to the magnetic of consciousness and then strike. It's not always just having to pause. If you connect to it and if you watch anything in nature but chipmunks, the little white stripes with golden bodies, some black, they were so cute. They could do this. Alright? So, I honestly have a million of them running around, so I'm going to be watching them more, but chipmunks do it. And uh, all nature is the wild animals, and they're wild because they know how to connect to that energy of survival that's even more just finding food or whatever. They're, they're connected to that survival energy, and if you notice, they pause, and then they do a little, I don't see any enemies. And then they do the little steps, you know. It's a different thing, and they're, they're strong to jump. You can see that uh, that's a prime example. And, they got good energy, and uh, they connect to the Mother Earth, you know. So that's a, the Chipmunk Tribe, which is the third point of all this. So this was the secrets of yoga, or my secrets of yoga, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, it kind of connects to the micro destinies, the moments destinies. And if you want to connect to your own soul destiny, then uh, that's the Alpha Soul who incarnated here. Uh, Jesus called it the one who sent me. When you read uh, most of the Gospels, he'll say the one who sent me. I think uh, John, um, you know, in the, in, in the par parallel Gospels, John, the one who sent me, that's Alpha. 13 minutes.